Sunny family, what's up? Welcome back. I'm your Sunny trainer, Cindy, and today I have a quick workout that you can do on your manual treadmill at home. Our workout today is going to be just 15 minutes, and it's a basic intro to interval workout. So we're going to be doing some basic intervals today, 30 seconds on to 15 seconds off. And this is a great workout for beginners, but you can always make it harder by adding more resistance. So if you're not a beginner, feel free to follow along with this workout and make it harder for yourself as we go. All right, so let's hop on up, get started. We're gonna start with a little warm up today. All right, so just two minutes on our manual treadmill, walking at a nice and easy pace. Whatever feels good for you. We're gonna slowly pick it up as we get closer to our intervals, just so that we're properly warming up that body. And while you're on your treadmill, I want you guys to be thinking throughout your whole workout about your form, okay? That's so important whenever you're on a treadmill like this, or honestly, any kind of treadmill. So when we're on our manual treadmill, the most important thing is that you're keeping that core nice and tight, right? Because that's gonna be a nice and stable base for us to push off from. And we really need a lot of power in those legs when we're working out on a manual treadmill because we are powering that tread deck, right? So we're powering that belt as we step. With each and every step, we are pushing it to move it. So nice and tight core and keep a nice, good posture for me. All right. We've got about one more minute of our warm up, and we're gonna get into our intervals. So like I said earlier, we have some basic intervals planned for today. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of a quick pace walk, adding on some resistance to each interval with a 15 second rest. Okay, so we're working on building that endurance, working on building that cardio base so that you can work up to harder and longer workouts on your manual treadmill. All right, so this is a great workout that you can use to get stronger, faster, and all of that good stuff. All right, 30 more seconds. So for our first set of intervals, we have three total intervals, 30 seconds each, and we're gonna add on a little resistance. So we're gonna kick up this first one to a resistance of two. So get ready. Get set, add on that resistance in three, two, and one. Give me some speed. Push those legs. Now you should feel this immediately. When we're on our manual treadmill, we are working those glutes and hamstrings, our calves, our quads, everything is working together to push ourselves on this treadmill. So nice and powerful. In three, two, and one. Bring it back down. 15 seconds to recover. Nice and quick recovery. Ready, next interval. In three, two, and one. Back up to two. Let's push. During each interval, I want you thinking about your speed. Right? We're fighting through. We're making each interval high intensity, challenging our heart, our muscles, and everything else. In three, two, and one. Take it easy. 15 second rest. Great work, you guys. Keep it up. Last interval in this set. Ready? Back up to a resistance of two. Let's do it. Resistance comes up and pace comes up as well. Push through those legs as fast as you can. Almost there, in three, two, and one. All right, bring that resistance back down to one. We are gonna take a nice recovery here. One whole minute of recovery. So let those muscles relax. 
as well as your breathing. Pace can go as slow as you want. Even if you want to step off to the side of that belt there, feel free to do that as well. If not, we're just going to keep it slowly moving. Thirty more seconds of rest. Now, with this next set of intervals, I'm going to challenge you guys to bring that resistance up to a level of three. Now, if the last set was too easy for you, maybe you want to challenge yourself even more and bump up that resistance to a level of four. That's totally up to you. I'm going to let that be your choice. For the rest of us, we're going to be at a resistance of three. Ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up to three. We've got three intervals once again. Interval set number two. Each interval, 30 seconds. Keep pushing. Work those legs. You can really feel that resistance. In three, two, and one, 15 second rest. Great work, you guys. Nice deep breath. Ready, set, let's go. Interval number two. Pick up that pace. Fight for each step. really challenging ourselves with these intervals. I want you guys staying on it for the full 30 seconds. Almost there. In three, two, and one. Back down to one. Nice and easy. 15 second rest. Try to catch that breath in between those intervals. Ready, set, interval number three, let's go. Stay on that pace. Ten more seconds, fight for it. You've got it. In three, two, and one. Bring it down. All right, back down to one. We are going to take a full minute of recovery once again. So soak it in. Nice deep breaths. Try to control your breathing in between our sets here. Now, if you'd like, this would be a great time to hop off your treadmill, grab a sip of water if you need it. We only have one more interval set left. You guys are doing an amazing job. All right, so hang with me. Almost there. For our last set today, I'm going to challenge you guys to bring that resistance up one more notch to a resistance of four. All right. We've got this. Three more intervals left, each one 30 seconds. All right. Five more seconds. In three, two, and one. Add on that resistance, resistance of four. Let's do this. 30 seconds. Push those legs. You can really feel that resistance now. Come on, challenge yourself. Almost there. In three, two, and one. All right, nice and easy. 15 seconds recovery. I know it's quick. Catch that breath. Ready, next interval, let's go. 30 seconds, keep pushing it. I 
know those legs are getting tired, keep it moving. Just keep that momentum going. In three, two, and one. Recover. Great job, you guys. Only one interval left. 30 seconds left. Come on, we can do this. Ready, last interval in three, two, and one. Let's go, pick it up. Halfway, come on, keep fighting all the way through. Five more seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, let's take that resistance all the way down to one. We are gonna cool down now. So nice and easy on the pace, as slow as you need to go. Let that breathing recover. Nice deep breaths. through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep breathing just like that. So important to let your breathing as well as your muscles recover after a challenging workout like this. So soak in this cool down. This is time for you, time to care for your body. As we recover here, you may feel natural just to start picking up your pace as your body starts to feel better, as we start recovering from those intense intervals. Nice and easy, whatever feels good and natural to you. You guys did an amazing job with these intervals today. They are not easy, but I truly believe that everybody can benefit from interval training in their routine. So I'm super proud of you guys for sticking with this workout today. Great work. Now, if you're interested in using this workout in your regular routine, interval training is a great thing to have in a part of a regular weekly routine. So feel free to add this workout into your routine once or twice a week. You can always make it more challenging as you get fitter and stronger by adding more resistance, right? As well as increasing that speed. So there's lots of things that you can play with when it comes to intervals. Nice and easy, almost there. All right, we're gonna slow down to a stop there. If you guys wanna keep on walking and cooling down on your treadmill, feel free. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We'll see you guys next time.